There was a lot of anti-Semitic publications that, you know, made fun of him and said that he was a fraud. And uh, there was a very famous hypnotist, clairvoyant by the name of Eric Hannison, who decided that he was going to make himself even more famous by defaming the strong man. And so what he did was he took a 20-year-old girl and trained her and went on stage and said that he was going to hypnotize her. And in her hypnotic state, she would duplicate the same feats of strength that the strong man did. He would stand up on the stage with her and all the chains, the metal bars, everything was on the stage. And they would ask people to come up and examine all of them to make sure that those are the real things. And they did, and they sat down, and then all of a sudden the house lights went out. There was a spotlight on his head, and for like 15 minutes he talked about hypnotism and mesmer and the story about how strong hypnotism is and the power and blah, blah, blah. And while this is going on, underneath the curtains they're pulling the real metal and replacing it with fake metal. Now comes the time for her to perform. The lights come back on. She picks up the iron bars, wraps it around her arms, and does this whole thing and just amazes the audience that he's done it through his hypnotism. Well, the newspapers caught on to this and said, this is amazing. We're going to have to go from Breitbart's performance to Hannison's performance, and we'll be the judge and we'll decide, etc." And so they do that. And what they discover is, is that Breitbart's performance is mostly women who are attracted to him and his, what he's doing with his body. And uh, Marta Farah, the woman, and Hannison are mostly men attracted to the scantily clad woman that's doing this, right? And, and Breitbart really does not like the idea of making fun of him. And so what he does is he hires an engineer. And the engineer, just before Hannison is about to go on stage, takes all the stage hands and gives them a free beer party downstairs in the basement. And they all go with food, etc. and he locks them in. So this time, when Hannison's finished speaking about Himesmer and the lights come back on, those are still the real implements on the floor. And she can't perform. The uh, city of Vienna, which is where this all happened, banned Hannison from performing for 10 years in Vienna because of his fraud. Um, that didn't stop him. He followed Breitbart to New York and tried to do the same thing in New York again. Only this time, um, this was a different Marta Farah that he called by the same name, and she got hurt in performing, which didn't stop him. He hired a third woman to do it and called her Marta Farah, um, all, in the, uh, for, all for the purpose of making him famous.